What a time to be alive. Kiss the lucky badge. Oh, it's a good time to be alive. Right, we're gonna do a sit down video talking. I've been crap at filming. I filmed bits and bobs here and there. So you've got your boy in front of the screen, overlaying footage, chatting, interrupting. Um, we're just gonna have a sit down, chat, a little catch up, see what's been going on. So firstly, shout out to the boys England for doing the job on Sunday. It was a great game, we watched the game at the pub, we'll probably show you some footage in a bit. But yeah, good time, what a vibe. This shirt has come from Pro Direct Soccer, also they do loads on JD. These are replicas of the old kits. Get involved, good price, I think this was 35, I had the Retro 996 on, on Sunday. Fantastic shirt, you looked apart as well, so I'm really excited for the next game, Scotland on Friday. But anyway, let's rewind all the way back to the start. On Monday, me and Rossi were off, we hit some deadlifts. Happy Monday. No, this is our workout tune. Oh, we're not getting in trouble. For that. What? A, yeah, pause it, pause it, pause it. Um, Rossi's off work today, Monday off, which is quite nice. Finished work for the morning, our time to train, and me and Rossi are training together. We don't really, when was the last time we probably trained together? It's been a I minute. Class, yeah. yeah. So, we're hitting some heavy deads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we sort that out? Roll it tight, chest up, fire it up, let's go. Drive, drive, drive. Good, yep, she's moving. Easy. Oh my God. I didn't know that was gonna go. Oh, yeah. Wowza. Drive it. Yep, yep, she's moving. All the way, all the way. Easy. That was a good little session. Uh, work times were heavy, 188.5. Uh, felt quite strong. I think Rossi got 81 and a half as well, which was massive for her. I was buzzing for her because she hadn't done any heavy lifting for a long time and we haven't done training together for a while. After that, we just did a uh, clean, well, she did three back squats every two minutes. We both went in the same two minutes. She did three back squats. I did five touch and go squat cleans. Uh, yeah, and it was a really good workout. After that, we finished with a little bit of conditioning. Training has been, been good. I'm at a point where I haven't been really, really motivated to train. Uh, lots have been going on socially and I'm just taking it as a come. I think for the longest time I've felt like I've had to train and it's sort of become a little bit of a chore. Whereas now I'm probably only training three to five absolutely most sessions a week. And some of my sessions are literally 20 minutes or half an hour, just little hit workouts. And then some of my sessions are even just boot camp. And when I'm coaching at boot camp, no, sorry, when I'm partaking in a boot camp, I still go around and coach a lot as well, so it's like they're not even full, massive, detailed sessions. And I'm really, really enjoying it, so I'm just letting that rub. Anyway, after that we received, uh, we got a new pair of dunks in, this was a Dunk Fragments uh, fire shoe. Let's rewind to that clip now. We have a pair of the Fragment Dunks. Now this is actually a super, super clean collab and colorway. First pair of Dunks I've got in stock I am a massive fan of these and if I had them in my size I would definitely be keeping uh, the black and purple colorway. Imagine they're quite a simple shoe to match. Uh, look cool with a pair of black jeans. You have the, the sort of logo in, well tag. I'd imagine that's like a product code down there. The fragment logo on the back. And apart from that it's a simple, simple silhouette. Leather seems to be not too bad as well. So. Pair of the Fragment Dunks, size 10. They're gonna go up on the site, uh, well not on the site, on the, on the Instagram and on the Depop paper. I don't actually think I ever linked the Depop, Depop paper alone, but yeah. South Coast Kicks, if you ever wanna check out any of the shoes. Uh, just some of my second hand shoes going up there, some retail shoes. You know what I do guys, I try and enter every raffle because with sneakers, the way that things to work is the more you enter, the more luck you get and obviously, Nine times out of ten, I am going to keep the sneakers if they're in my size and, and it's a shoe that I want. Um, and then if I land shoes like this that I don't particularly, well, this isn't my size, so I'm just going to push this up. 
put it up on site, a little over retail to cover the postage, that kind of thing, um, and also look for trades as well. So if you're ever looking at for a pair of shoes, hit up my deep off and uh, we'll see if we can hook you up. And then apart from that, guys, I haven't been great at filming. Uh, on Friday, we had a bottoms brunch at uh, Turtle Bay. Not too bad, I quite enjoyed it. And then went out to Hamble. Saturday, we had a bottomless brunch at Benita's, which is a place in South Sea, which was really, really good. They did bottomless, uh, bottomless tequila? Frozen, no, frozen margaritas. They were decent. Quite strong as well. You know how you sometimes go out for a brunch and they're not very strong? Frozen margaritas and they went off. So it's a heavy day Friday, heavy day Saturday, and then it was obviously the England game Sunday. So I woke up early Sunday morning, I had a PT session at 10.15, and I wanted to do some sort of training. Uh, I think I managed to film one time lapse of the round, uh, and it was a really, really good workout. I just set the barbell up at 40 kilos, I got the bike out, I got the ski out, and I got uh, my skipping rope out. I did six barbell snatch, six barbell clean and jerk, 12 calories on the ski erg, 10 calories on the assault bike, and then 20 double unders. Nothing crazy, the, the whole goal behind that workout was to keep my heart rate, my heart rate was obviously high from, from being a bit hungover, but I kept my heart rate around sort of 160 to 170 throughout the whole time. The work would take me 30 to 45 seconds absolute most, have a short window of rest, and then we go. The goal was just a nice, consistent heart rate, and Getting up, working out, I felt so great. And then obviously we got back on the beers heavily after the England result. Adam, 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 speech. Speech, speech, speech. Basically, it's coming home. I'm going to work at 6.40. We've got 8.34, something like that. I don't know where it is. We're fucking taking three to four weeks to reply to the email. Wait, 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 wait. It's fucking coming home, come on. One nil win against Croatia who knocks out the World Cup. I was absolutely over the moon. The only thing is, I was gutted because I missed the goal. I said to the boys, I said, I'm going for a wee, I'm bursting. I bet we score now, I bet I missed the goal. Went in, went for a wee. As I was weeing, I just heard cheers. I, don't get me wrong, I still ran out. There was no hand wash, there was no sanitizer. I'm out the door, we're celebrating. Uh, one nil win, happy, happy days. And obviously, a one nil win meant we didn't leave the pub, we stayed on the beers all day. We're now round of the week back up. We're on Tuesday. I've just been to CrossFit. I filmed CrossFit, but once again, that's going in the next video. Really enjoying that. I just want to round up my week by saying, training, like I said, has been okay. I've not felt crazy motivated, but when I do train, I feel good, but I just struggle to have motivation to train at the minute. My diet has been really, really good Monday through Friday. Like I said, I'm in that sort of quite severe deficit Monday through Friday. On the weekend, I'm trying to be more cautious, but enjoy. When the Euros is on, you can't not enjoy. So uh, my, my happy scales is looking something along the lines of um, from Monday to Friday, drop from about 82 down to hit the low 80s. Over the weekend, that will come all the way back up to 82 and then I'll just repeat that cycle. Is that the best thing to be productive for training and nutrition? Absolutely not. Is it the best thing to work well for me at the minute? 100%. So yeah, hope you enjoy this content. I am actually struggling to film out and about a bit more. I think because we've been in lockdown for so long and I haven't filmed any out there content, whether that be out shopping, in gyms, that kind of thing. So whatever I've been filming in the gym has all sort of been just content and then I've been sat back relaying or talking about the content. I want to change that. I need to get back to being more confident filming out there and I'm sure that will come it's just as we ease out of lockdown. I do really appreciate anyone that's hanging around and, and has been sticking to the content. Uh, sticking to watching the content and supporting your boy. So, first thing I want you to do is make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think the England Scotland result will be on Friday night. I'll be filming it, I'll be watching it with the boys, beer in hand. I am buzzing. I'm gonna go, I think the boys are gonna just do a job. 3 0, solid, keep a clean sheet, that's what I reckon. And hopefully Harry Kane gets on the score sheet. I've got a big bet with Harry Kane. Lukaku also is going to be my golden boot. He's my golden boot bet. He netted twice, so it's a good start. 
Anyway, once again, I'm rambling. You know what to do. Smash like, hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Go get yourself a shirt.